Hi guys, it's me Jay Woods and today we're going to be talking about this. This is the Kylie um, Royal Peach Palette. So one of my friends actually lent this to me, I honestly didn't buy it. And this is what the box that it comes in looks like. And this is what the um, packaging looks like on the outside. Honestly, when I first saw this palette on like Instagram, I was like, eh, it's alright. But seeing it in person, it is a really, really pretty palette. This is what it looks like. So I'm just going to first show you how I got this little eye look using it. Alright, so the first color I'm going to use is this one right here. It's like a very light peachy color. So I'm just going to put that on my crease and I'm going to try to use the brush that it came with. Alright, now I'm going to take this color right down here, which is like a deeper, um, pe it's almost like a peachy brown, maybe like a terracotta type of color. Now I'm going to put that lower on the crease, I'm not going to go as high with it. Alright, so honestly, so far I think these colors do look really, really nice, especially since they're matte. Um, even a lot of like really well-known brands, they have a lot of trouble making matte shadows. But these matte shadows, I feel like they look beautiful, great pigmentation. They blend it up really nice, pretty nicely. My only issue is this freaking brush. This brush sucks. It's like shaped like a blender brush, but honestly, when you blend it on your eyes, it just like it feels like it's scratching your eyelid, and it's just not. A nice feeling so I'm just gonna switch to my real techniques um, this is just from their one of their old like collections I don't know if they still sell these in stores because I got this at TJ Maxx and I think they were like on sale at Walgreens and stuff but I'm just going to blend out the edges of that color just to soften it a little bit all right so now I'm gonna very lightly go into this brown color right here Just like the tiniest amount, and I'm going to actually go over um, the crease color a little bit just to calm down the oranginess. If oranginess is a word. I don't know. So I feel like a lot of people in the tutorials didn't really use this color, so I want to, and it's this purple down here. I'm just going to put that on my lid, and I'm going to use my finger just so that I could get more... Um, color from it because just like running my fingers in I feel like it isn't like the creamiest shadow so we're gonna see how it works out all right so I'm not that impressed by this lid color I don't know I feel like she could have added maybe like a little bit more of like a metallic gray to it just to make it pop more I feel like it's nice but it's just kind of like eh. anyway all right so the next color I'm going to use is this matte cobalt blue over here. Alright, so we're just gonna put that blue on the outer corner. Hopefully some magic happens. Ooh. It's funny because like when I swatched this color it looked um kind of patchy. But it's applying really nicely. I don't know if it's because my brushes may have been just a tiny bit wet because I washed it last night. But it's going out really nicely. I'm going to blend this out with a, um, a blender brush. So I'm just going to take um, that peachy color and then just put it on my lower lash line. Alright, now I'm going to take this like pencil -y brush and I'm going to go back into that super duper bright blue. And we're just going to go a little bit closer to the lash line. Alright, so one thing I don't like about this palette is that it doesn't have any like highlight colors. So for my inner corner highlight, I'm going to use um, this glittery side of this duo. This is the Kiko Milano Bright Duo. This is what it looks like. It sort of has like a regular shadow, then it has this like super duper glittery, almost like a pressed pigment, I guess is what you can call it. And it's great because you can actually wet these shadows. So I'm just going to wet my brush and use this on my inner corner. So I feel like this isn't bright enough. Um, so I'm going to use the same product, just in a different shade. The one I used was shade 26. This is the shade 06, which is more of like a metallic-y white. 
Alright, so I applied mascara and eyeliner, and this is what my eyes look like. I'm like debating because I really, really want to add an eyeliner, but I'm scared like it might change the look. But I'm just going to go for it because I'm brave. If anything, I could always just go over it with the dark color again. But I'm going to use the Kiko Smart Eye Pencil in 813, which is this like bright bluish color. Alright, so first let's start with things that I like about this palette. I really do like the packaging. I think it's super cute. Some people think that this type of packaging is a little bit cheap because it is a cardboard, but I think that um, this sort of like glossy cardboard is really nice because you can sort of wipe it clean if it ever gets dirty. And um, yeah, I think it's cute. It feels pretty sturdy. I also love the fact that you get this mirror. Not only is this a mirror, but it is a huge mirror. Like, you can perfectly see all of your eyes. It's like such a great mirror. You hold it far enough, you could actually see your entire face. I think that some of these shades are really, really nice. You get so much pigmentation. Other, one, other of the shades, it's like... I'm really confused because a lot of the sparklier shades don't have that... Sparklier, is that a word? Mm. A lot of the sparkly shades don't have that much pigmentation, which usually it's the matte shades that don't have that much color payoff, so I'm just like really confused about that. I feel like all the matte shades in this are a bomb. I feel like some of the sparkly ones are like okay, a little bit powdery. Um, even the blue that I use, it does look nice, but like swatching on my hand, it did feel sort of like powdery and streaky, so you might have to wet your brush a little bit just to get that perfect color. But um, I do really like the color selection. The only thing I wish is that she would have put at least one like highlighting shade in it. If you look at all of these shades, it's like you have um, different like sort of pops of color with the green, the blue, then you know a lot of neutrals, but it's like there's no highlighting shade, which I wish she would have done. So the palette retails for $45. With shipping, it brings it up to like 50 something dollars. And I honestly don't think this palette is worth the 50 whatever dollars you're paying for it because First of all, all the colors aren't that great. I mean, you could just get like an Anastasia palette instead where all of the shades are just beautiful. There are some very well-known brands who, you know, they do release products where all the shadows aren't perfect. I mean, we all remember the whole Becca, Jaclyn Hill. But um, with those brands, you could always just return the product. With Kylie's brand, you can't return it. You're stuck with it forever. So if you don't like it, if you do have any issues with it, you can't return it. And the main issue people have been having with it is the fact that it stinks. So there has been like all these videos where it's like my Kylie palette stinks, it smells bad or whatever. Opening this, I definitely know what they're talking about. Mind you, my friend, she bought this. It stinks. She emailed them. They were just like, just, you know, leave the palette open. She left open for three days and you can honestly still smell it. So the way this palette smells is, imagine a paint can, alright? Imagine if a paint can had a butthole and you put your nose directly on that paint can's butthole. That's what this smells like. It's funny because I was talking to my friend about it, the friend who lent this palette to me, and she was just like, she was like, what do you think of the smell? I'm like, you know, I've never eaten booty, but like, I feel like this smells like what eating booty would taste like, you know? It's like a really, really strong, um just like paint smell. I don't think, it's not the shadows, it's more so I think it's the glue that's used to um, adhere the pans to the palette because there were some people who said they popped the um, the little pans out and then it didn't sink, so it's definitely the palette that sinks. I don't know, it's like, oh, if you take a deep breath of it, it literally like will make you nauseous. It smells so freaking strong. And I think if you're very sensitive, I don't know, if you would even be able to use this if you have very like sensitive smell or even sensitive eyes because even just like holding this palette up while you're applying the colors you just like you're breathing it in and it's just like Ugh. but um yeah i still wanted to make this video because if you are someone who's stuck with this palette at least you'll have like some look inspo for it and um yeah if you have any questions leave them down below thank you so much for watching make sure you like subscribe do all that